I'm going to share with you all a little story of Mrs. M, who is in her mid 30s. She goes to her doctor with all the symptoms of hypothyroidism that we discussed in our last video. She gets rightly diagnosed and the doctor puts her on thyroxine tablets. Now she's really hoping and expecting that all the weight that she put all this time, she'll be able to shed it off once she goes on thyroxine tablets. Her doctor rechecks her TSH level by doing the blood test about two to three months later and tells her that her TSH now is well within the target. It's perfect. But she doesn't feel perfect. She's still unable to lose that weight even six months or 12 months later. So what's going on? Remember, we talked about what thyroxine does to your metabolism in our last video. Let me just recap that for you. So metabolism is obviously the process by which the food that we eat gets converted into energy. And being hypothyroid, where your thyroid gland is underactive, this whole process of metabolism slows down. So you burn less calories at rest, which makes you put on weight. And that's how the weight gain happens in hypothyroidism. So it's quite simple, isn't it? The problem is low level of thyroid hormones in your body. And the solution is giving thyroid hormone supplements from outside. So that should surely make you lose that extra weight. But that doesn't happen in practice, does it? Look at this statement. Unfortunately, there is very little data about how much weight gain happens with hypothyroidism and how much people lose weight after we correct their hypothyroidism with thyroxine tablets. And I, I can tell you that a lot of my patients who are hypothyroid, they're not actually obese, they're quite lean. So you can't really blame your thyroid for all that weight gain. So what's happening here? What are we missing? So hang on a minute. Obesity can actually make someone more prone to get hypothyroidism. Does that even sink in? But actually, some studies have shown that obesity can actually induce autoimmune process. Remember, autoimmunity was commonest reason for hypothyroidism. And also, there is a link between obesity and a hormone called as leptin, which is your satiety hormone. It tells your brain to stop eating. So this leptin hormone levels are high in obese people. And there is some link between this leptin hormone, which stimulates TSH and makes the level high in your blood. So without too much of medical jargon, we understand that obesity actually can make somebody prone to get hypothyroidism. So it's a bit like egg and chicken situation, isn't it? What comes first? Now let's slow down. We accept the possibility that obesity can lead to hypothyroidism. So an already obese person gets hypothyroidism. The hypothyroidism makes him more obese. So what's the underlying problem here? The underlying problem is not hypothyroidism, but actually obesity. So if you ask that person to lose weight, can you actually reverse his hypothyroidism? Remember how we talked about reversal of diabetes with weight loss. Can that hold true for hypothyroidism as well? Well, you'll be interested to know that there are some studies, and I've borrowed these statements from well-renowned journals, that if you actually lose weight, either with bariatric surgery or diet and lifestyle, then your thyroid function can actually revert back to normal. That's fascinating, isn't it? So why are we learning all this? What do we do with this information? Well, the very purpose of this video is to help hypothyroid patients understand why they may be struggling to lose weight because the underlying reason is not just their thyroid, which is to be blamed, but there can be other factors. So finally, set yourself realistic goals. Don't expect magical results with regards to your weight after thyroxine treatment. Stick to your diet and aerobic exercise regime. Don't give up. Thank you.